true skate has come a long way design wise from the VH. The options are still the same, although mine I chose all black. You can still get the funky red and different color boot designs, but the boot hasn't changed very much. From the heel to the midfoot, I find the fit exactly the same as the V8. Where I find a slight difference is the toe cap. I find that they've widened the toe cap and added a little bit more space for the footbed in the front of the foot. Whereas the VH were a lot tighter and unforgiving, these skates allow for a lot more movement and I find comfort. What I find inside the skate is that it can tend to get a little cold in there. If the rink is particularly really cold, the inside of the footbed in the front can become very cold and you get a little bit of cold toes sometimes. The tongue has improved immensely. It's a lot more sturdy than the VH, which I would find would slip out and detach a lot. The tongue here is stable. It's a lot more comfy. It's thicker and it's more padded than it used to be. So there's a lot more comfort in the front of the foot and there's a lot more protection against lace bite when you use these for hours on end. In terms of the eyelets and the overall comfort of the ankle area, it's a lot more forgiving. The VH skate, you'd actually have to pull apart in order to get your feet in. These, you don't. I was amazed the first time I wore them how pliable the boot was and how you were able to manipulate it and it was soft, it wasn't hard. So definitely a lot more style and a lot more comfort in the ankle area. And I find that the inside ankle support is really a lot more comfortable on first wear. Even though I heated my VH skates and I heated these, the true skate was a lot more plug and play, get your foot in there and get going with full comfort than they used to be when they were the VH product. They come with the step steel holder. I know some people um, are not big fans of it. I don't mind the holder. I find it stable. I find it able to really handle everything I, I throw at it. For me, my biggest challenge is a step steel metal. It's a harder metal, which is a lot better quality than you find from metals that are outsourced on a lot of the outer, other skates. My biggest challenge is the fact that it comes with so much steel when you first put on the skate. Um, even though I had mine contoured for the first time, the guy who contoured them said, Jim, it would take me at least a day and a half to really get these things down. So I'm kind of stuck with a lot of metal and it's, it's going to be a few contourings and sharpenings before I, I get to the bottom of it. Ventilation holes at the bottom of the boot, great for making sure that the footbed breathes. I know with the VH, that was a big problem and the sole would sort of rot out a little bit and the rivets would come loose, but that was also a, a maintenance issue and I'm going to do a separate video on how to properly maintain your true skates to make sure that you get good ventilation. Overall, huge improvements. The performance is outstanding. Whether or not you're leaning into a turn or blasting out in a full stride, this skate moves with your foot. You don't really realize how much work a skate does for you until you get a custom skate like this. When I transferred force from my leg to my ankle, the skate became the final piece of the puzzle in maintaining that force and not letting it dissipate in unnecessary movement inside the boot and internal friction. I hope the breakdown really made a difference for you guys and hopefully made you make the decision to jump to a custom boot because it makes all the world of a difference to improve and remember, improvement is vital.